Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable coefficients. So let's get going. Problem solve x square into d square y by dx square plus 4x into dy by dx plus 2y equals to x plus 1 by x. We are having variable coefficients in our problem, right? Given differential equation. So we are going to reduce this equation to an equation with constant coefficients by making a substitution. We are given x square into d square y by dx square plus 4x into dy by dx plus 2y equals to x plus 1 by x. We know that d is a differential operator with independent variable x and d square is a d square by dx square. Now we can write this equation as x square into d square y plus 4x into dy plus 2y equals to x plus 1 by x. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get x square d square plus 4xd plus 2 into y equals to x plus 1 by x, which is our Cauchy's equation. Now let's make the substitution. Now to reduce this equation to an equation with constant equations. Here we are having variable equations, right? We'll change it to constant equations by making a simple substitution. Put x equals to e power z. Then z equals to log x to the base e for x greater than 0. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then x d equals to theta x squared d squared equals to theta or theta minus 1. Now Cauchy's equation becomes replace x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1 plus 4 into replace xd by theta plus 2 into y equals to replace x by e power z will get e power z plus 1 by e power z then theta into theta theta square minus theta plus 4 theta plus 2 into y equals to e power z plus we can write 1 by e power z as e power minus z then Theta square plus 4 theta minus theta is plus 3 theta plus 2 into y equal to e power z plus e power minus z. Which is in operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z. Right? See here we are having constant coefficients. So we have reduced the given equation to an equation with constant coefficients. Which is in operator form. f of theta into y equals to q of z. Where f of theta equal to theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Let's now find yc and yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to we have f of theta theta square plus 3 theta plus 2, right? Let's re replace differential operator by m, so that will get f of m equals to m square plus 3m plus 2. Now, our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. Split 3m as 2m plus m plus 2 equals to 0, right? 
Now take m common from the first two terms. We'll get m times m plus 2. And the next two terms remains the same. m plus 2. Now take m plus 2 common from the two terms. We'll get m plus 2 into m plus 1 equals to 0. Now equate each factor to 0. From m plus 2 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 2. And from m plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 1. Now the roots are m equals to minus 2 and minus 1, which are real and distinct. Therefore, m equals to minus 2 minus 1. Therefore, the roots are real and distinct or we can call it as real and different. We know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are real and distinct then yc will be c1 e power 1 root into z plus c2 e power another root into z right. Now coming to our complementary function Our complementary function looks like y c equals to constant into e power 1 root into z plus another constant into e power another root into z. Is equals to c1 e power minus 2z plus c2 e power minus z. Now we are having y c in terms of z. We need to write in terms of x, right? So we will write e power minus 2z as e power z whole power minus 2. Plus c2 into e power minus z can be written as e power z whole power minus 1. Now replace e power z by x. Then we will get y c equals to c1 x power minus 2 plus c2 x power minus 1. We know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n. Then we can write x power minus 2 as 1 by x square and x inverse as 1 by x. Then we will get y c equals to c1 into 1 by x square plus c2 into 1 by x. Also we can write it as c1 by x square plus c2 by x. Therefore y c equals to c1 x power minus 2 plus c2 x power minus 1 or c1 by x square plus c2 by x. Okay. We got y c. Let's now find yp. Particular integral. We can find yp using 1 by f of theta into q. I mean q of z. This is equals to 1 by we have f of theta and q of z. Where f of theta is theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. And q of z is e power z plus e power minus z. We can write it as 1 by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2 into e power z plus 1 by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2 into e power minus z. Right? Now we will find each term separately. Okay? So it is of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. Likewise, this is also 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. Right? For a equals to 1 and for a equals to minus 1. First term 1 by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2 into e power z. Right? As I said earlier, this is of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. Now compare e power z with e power az for a equals to 1. We will find since we have f of theta equals to theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. We will find f of a that is f of 1. Just replace theta by 1. We will get 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 2 equals to 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6 which is non-zero. Since f of 1 is non-zero. Then we can replace theta by 1. We will get 1 square 1 plus 3 into 1 plus 2. 
which is equal to 1 by 1 plus 3 plus 2 into e power z, which is equal to 1 by 6 into e power z, right? The result obtained from 1 is 1 by 6 into e power z. Now coming to second term of yp. This is also 1 by f of theta into e power a z form. We have f of theta equals to theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. Now for a equals to minus 1, we will find f of a which is equal to f of minus 1 equals to minus 1 whole square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 1 plus into minus minus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 3 minus 3 is 0, right? So if we replace theta by minus 1 in the denominator, we will get 1 by 0 into e power minus z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. The denominator must be non-zero. So what we will do? We will just write 1z into 1 by, write the derivative of theta square plus 3 theta plus 2. If f of theta is theta square plus 3 theta plus 2, f dash of theta will be 2 theta plus 3 into e power minus z. Now let's see what happens if we replace theta by minus 1. I mean we need to find f dash of minus 1. Replace theta by minus 1. We will get minus 2 plus 3 which is 1 non-zero right. Since f dash of minus 1 is non-zero so we can replace theta by minus 1. We will get z into 1 by 2 into minus 1 plus 3 into e power minus z which is equal to z into 1 by minus 2 plus 3 into e power minus z which is equal to z into 1 by minus 2 plus 3 is 1 into e power minus z is z e power minus z. So the result obtained for 2 is z e power minus z. Now coming to yp, result obtained from the first term is 1 by 6 into e power z and result obtained from the second term is plus z e power minus z. Now we are having yp in terms of z, so let's replace it, I mean let's write it in terms of x. For that we need to replace e power z by x and z by log x, okay. For that, we will write e power minus z as e power z power minus 1. Now it will be easy to replace. We will get 1 by 6 into x plus z into, sorry we need to replace z right. Replace z by log x into x inverse. Okay. This equals to x by 6 plus log x into 1 by x which is equals to x by 6 plus log x by x. These are required yp. We got yp and yc. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to for the first yc we will get c1 x power minus 2 plus c2 x inverse plus yp x by 6 plus log x by x or y equals to for the second one c1 by x square plus c2 by x plus x by 6 plus log x by x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with variable coefficients in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.